What's up, Playboys? We are about to jump straight into this incredible infield breakdown for you, but I got to let you know that right now, for the first time in years, Thrive Day Game is on sale. This is my full course packed with 30 infields, the most incredible day game in the entire world, breakdowns, all of my strategies and formulas to show you, not just teach you, not just tell you, but show you through all of these infield demonstrations how simply you can start going out this week. I don't care if you have anxiety. I don't care if you're freaking out about it. You don't know what to do. Thrive is going to show you how you can simply go out and meet beautiful women, date them. You might hate online. You might hate nightclubs. If that describes you, if you're a guy that wants to be able to have new opportunities everywhere you go with the beautiful women you see throughout your day-to-day -day life, Thrive Day Game is for you. It is on sale until May 15th. It is 80% off until May 15th. It all ends this coming Sunday. Jump on that right now. After this video, head over to thrivedaygame.com and enjoy this infield breakdown. Jump on this quick. This will not go on sale again for years. Ladies and gentlemen, well, I mean, let's be real here. Probably just gentlemen. If you're a chick watching this, maybe you don't have good intentions. I, I don't know. Maybe you're just you're, you're trying to learn the laws of the game. I don't know. But welcome back, everybody, to another incredible infield breakdown. This is a phenomenal infield where I approach two girls out on the street, middle of the daytime. So many guys, this makes them so nervous. You're afraid, what do I do when there's two girls? I just don't know what to do. I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do. Now, I'm probably soon, so first off, I'm gonna split this infield into two breakdowns because there's a lot to cover here. But also, here in the near future, I'm probably gonna post another two set, me approaching them during the day as well, because um, this isn't typically what I do. You'll see this is kind of a unique situation here where they are just starting to cross the street. I already make my intention that I'm gonna go talk to them. Now I cross the street, they're going across the street, and I gotta make something happen here. So I'm gonna kind of break down what's really, really important about this and how this is gonna help you guys as well when you're approaching daytime, um, one girl, two girls, three girls, doesn't really matter. There's a lot of really valuable principles here. So let's go ahead and dive into this. If you guys wanna access this full infield, unedited, uh, uncut up, just, just raw footage, as well as 30 other hidden camera infield breakdowns, some of them night games, some mostly day game, and then a few night games, I've just bundled Thrive and Engage together, my two incredible courses that's all available for you over at thrivedaygame.com. Let's go ahead and rock, we'll, we'll you know, we'll, we'll do the thing, here we go. Don't jaywalk, don't jaywalk. I just did it myself. No. Wait, 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 quick question, stop, stop, stop. Come talk to me for two seconds. I cross over here, even though I'm like going down that direction. Yeah. So I thought you guys were cute. Okay. So right there, so I go up and I just go, hey, don't jaywalk. That immediately catches their attention. They continue walking, right? They continue to walk. Most guys right then and there, that's when you're giving up, is when they've just continued their motion, right? Then, let's go ahead and replay that. Don't jaywalk, don't jaywalk. I just did it myself. No. Wait, 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 quick question, stop, stop, stop. Come talk to me for two seconds. I cross over here, even though I'm like going down that direction. So you'll see the one was literally already halfway into the street. And then I go, wait, 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 two seconds. Come here, talk to me, talk to me. I do this little motion with my hand, like, hey, come here, come here. I'm summoning them. Come to me, come to me. Here, two seconds, two seconds. Come here, talk to me for a second. So what guys are doing is they're opening and they're just giving up right after they don't initially catch interest and in what I think a lot of guys don't understand and what you need to understand is that women have every reason in the world to be skeptical of you actually even to fear you now you you're a guy out here doing game and ideally you're watching my videos all the time you're learning how to be charismatic how to be smooth how to really give value but the truth is, is that most girls that have been hit on by a random guy it's a drunk dude it's a homeless guy hey girl look at that fucking ass it's not a fun experience 
So women are going to be hesitant and it's on you to buy more time for that conversation, which then grants you more connection. Down that direction? Yeah. So I thought you guys were cute. So I was like, I need oh, no. I was like, I was like, hey, I need to figure out which one of these girls is single. No. You're the wait, what do you I mean? Don't live no. Here. I don't live Where here. do you live? I'm in Cleveland. What well, part? Really? I grew up I grew up up there. I'm Fay Village. I grew up in like uh, kind of near Avon. Okay. You know Lyria? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right yeah. over there. So obviously, you know, we're vibing about the fact that we kind of know where each other's from. But also just a second ago, I straight up told them, hey, I came, I crossed this street over here. Because look, here's here's the thing. This is, as you can see here, this is not very populated. There's not a lot of people around here. So those girls for sure saw me crossing the street, coming over and then just immediately talking to them. So in that situation, I just decided, hey, I'm gonna tell you straight up, I came over here because I thought you two were cute and I wanted to find out which one of you is single, which I don't even know if this is the video for that, but that is a very deep concept. No matter how two sets start, no matter what your opener was, how you engaged, it's very, very important when you're attracted to both women, when you would hook up with both of them, it's important not to put all of your attention onto one girl because when you do that right out the gate, all of your intention is just on that one girl. Well, that could be the girl with the boyfriend. And now if that's the girl with the boyfriend, the other girl is now just gonna be the afterthought. You weren't there to hit on her. It's going to burn down any potential that you have with the single one. We played soccer against you guys or something. Really? Yeah. Okay. Wait, so what's up with the New York thing? I heard that mentioned. I yeah. also live in New York. I live what in part? Cleveland. What part? Harlem. Harlem. Yeah. Okay, cool. I just didn't look like it, but I, I just got I just got an Airbnb for May 11th through the 14th over right near Washington Square Park. Oh, I'm going to like be there. Like Greenwich oh, Village or something. Yeah. So you'll be there that weekend. I will be in New York that weekend. Okay, listen. Let me... Okay, so now I want to point something out here very, very important. Most guys are having conversations that are question, answer, question, answer, question, answer. You're from New York. Oh, cool. I've been watching DC. Oh, cool. What do you do there? I do this. Oh, cool. Uh, that, 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 that. Question, answer. You got to start falling into the QAS formula that I teach, which is question, answer, statement. So she says, I'm from New York. I answer and I bring up, she answers, and then I make statements. So I bring up, oh, the fact that I'm gonna go to New York, oh, that I've been there. Now, let's say you don't have that relevant of a situation. She says, I'm from, I'm from California. You go, oh, what part? She says, LA. Oh, okay, are you like, uh, what are you trying to be an actress or something? No, I mean, I don't really think so. I mean, you could, I mean, maybe, I don't know, are you fake enough though? Like you kind of gotta be fake if you really wanna make it in the acting. I don't think I'm fake, whatever. You've got to branch out and this is the key. Question, her answer, you make statements before the next question. This is the key to truly having engaging conversations, which is what my entire course Engage is about, which you can access uh, down below, thrivedaygame.com. With Engage, you get it all bundled together. And in order to, to really keep conversations flowing, because that's like one of the number one things I hear, I can't keep the conversation going. It's because you're not adding. You're not adding. All you're doing is subtracting. You're subtracting from her. You're subtracting where she works. You're subtracting where she's from. And you're taking away topics rather than creating new ones by branching out. Incredibly important. I mean, have you ever seen the show How I Met Your Mother? I guess I have, yeah. Okay, so imagine if the way that we told our children that oh we met, God. imagine if it's like this dude came up to me in Columbus, no. he just laid it on the line, he was like, yo, you're hot. And then from there, we went on a date in New York City and it all okay, just kind of spiraled. give me your number. Nah. Give me your number. Yeah, don't, tell me, number. don't tell me what to do. You're so <laughs> you aggressive. It, it would be. Text text tell me your name. I don't so, very important. I do the How I Met Your Mother bit all the time. Because here's the deal. When we're guys that are out here doing game, day game, night game, we're meeting women in these very unique ways. It's incredibly unique to them. 
It's serendipitous. It's in a way that they've never really been picked up before. I've hooked up with girls that I've met at the grocery store, at the mall, and they've straight up told me, even if they're hot chicks, they'll say, yeah, I get hit on at night all the time, but I have never had a guy come up to me like this, get my phone number. So this is incredibly unique for them. And so throwing in that how I met your mother bit of imagine we're gonna tell our kids da da da. And it could be, you could do this in a night game set too, where you're just straight up at the club. You ever see how I met your mother? Yeah, of course, I love that show. Well, listen, this is a perfect, you know, we met at Fourth Street Bar, we started grinding on each other, we started making out and then we fucked. This is a great story to tell our grandchildren. So it's a good little bit that I like to throw in there. Um, and then also there, she, let, let's go back to the beginning of that number close. Day in New York City and it all okay, just kind of spiraled. Give me your number. Nah. Give me your number. Nah, don't tell me, number. don't tell me what to do. You're so <laughs> you aggressive. It, it would be. It would tell be me your name. Good. I don't know anything nice about you. you. I'm Aaron. Yeah. Have you ever been to Soft Swerve in New York City? No, it is Greatest that? ice cream spot you've ever been to in your life. Is it the truck? No, it's not a truck, but okay. they'll put like cinnamon toast. So this is fun. This is fun, this is engaging. Straight up, she's like, give me your number. I'm like, give me your number, don't tell me what to do. So we're having a really good time here. I'm saying kind of outlandish things. I straight up had already said, I saw you guys over here, thought you were cute, that's why I crossed the street. I open with don't jaywalk. All of this has been a really fun and engaging interaction. And this is how you're going to be remembered. So many of you guys, you're self-proclaimed, self-identified introverts. I struggle to have more energy in my sets. No, you don't. No, you don't. You struggle to actually let through who you really are. And that's why you run out of things to say. That's why you struggle to have energy in your set. No, you don't. You have to be a man that's worth remembering. And so these girls are gonna leave this interaction and they're gonna be thinking to themselves, that was funny, I remember laughing, I remember having a good time. He almost was talking shit to us a few different times. That's an incredibly impressionable, memorable interaction for these girls. And that's what you really, really need to be aiming for. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it here. There's a lot more of this interaction, but we're gonna go ahead and bust into a part two in probably this coming week. We'll, we'll probably do the part two to this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Comment down below if you did enjoy it. And again, if you guys wanna access Thrive Day Game now bundled with Engage, my first course ever, this is just my full blown formula teaching you all the strategies, all the systems, no stone unturned, how you can go out. You don't like online, you don't like night game, you just moved to a new city, you go through your life, you see girls all the time. God, look how hot that one is. Oh, look at that one, that one's so hot. And you're not doing anything about it. My systems inside of Thrive will teach you and also show you. Again, there's 30 infield videos, both raw and broken down for you inside of Thrive. An insane amount of bonuses. Head over to thrivedaygame.com and we'll see you in part two.